changed our own posture. What we are trying to do is uh, reduce the tension, take the, the tenor of the rhetoric down, uh, and make clear that we have seen this pattern in the past, which is uh, posing threats or suggesting through misinformation of sorts that there are threats posed to President Putin in Russia that don't exist. Thanks, Jen. Um, there are reports of illegal cluster bombs and vacuum bombs being used by the Russians. Uh, if that's true, what is the next step of this administration, and is there a red line for how much violence uh, will be tolerated against civilians in this manner that's illegal and potentially a war crime? It is. It would be. I don't have any confirmation of that. We have seen the reports. Uh, if, if that were true, it would potentially be a war crime. Obviously, there are a range of international fora that would assess that. Um, so certainly, we would look to that to be a part of that conversation. And then the new aid that you just laid out at the beginning here, yep. um, the Post reported over the weekend that this aid will not include stingers, that it would likely come in a future batch of aid. What is the reason for that? Uh, I, I'm not going to get into specifics of what is in uh, the military package. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a combination of uh, ground and airborne defense capabilities, um, and obviously we have provided those in the past, but I'm not going to have more details to you, outline for you from here. You mentioned that we read news every day. News that's informative, but rarely encouraging. The Intermountain Christian newspaper aims to change that. They present the news you need to know, from what's going on in your community to your world, with encouraging words, motivation, and the resources you need to make positive changes in your life. What is your local government doing that you need to know about? What's happening in your community you need to be a part of? Whether it's a story from your neighborhood, a national story, or an encouraging word, you'll find biblical issues of everyday life in the Intermountain Christian newspaper. Intermountain Christian News is produced and supported by the work and donations of individuals and churches. You'll find it at churches, Christian bookstores, by subscription, and online at imcnews.org. To find out more about supporting this local resource, go online at imcnews.org or call Intermountain Christian News in Boise, Idaho at 208-703-8688. The Intermountain Christian News, a voice sharing the truth on matters dear to people's hearts.